Hello everyone. In today's video, I will discuss the impact of positive and negative prompt along with the significance of seed in Pika Labs and how to optimize camera movement to create the best motion scene for your AI videos. I have put in 10 to 12 hours of work and research into this. So stick till the end and enjoy the rest of the video. For example, let's consider that we have this image and we want to get the motion on this so that it looks like this bike is really moving fast. And at the same time, I do not want any kind of extra element in this scene because my image is like this. So what happens? Let's just go ahead and animate this image, right? So I'll go ahead, uh, select our image from here. Okay. And for prompt, I just go ahead and provide a basic prompt where I want motion as one guidance scale as 20 frame per second 24 is the default you can give or you cannot give that's up to you i just keep it so that when i remix the prompt it is easy for me to change it and then i'm setting the camera as zoom in and see as four five six seven let's have a look at the result and see what we have got so let's play this and you could see that we have some kind of animation in this image but we have extra element we have bike cars which is going all over the place right so what we can do is uh, we will go ahead and try to add our positive prompt in this now. So now my prompt is single sports bike in action. And then we have uh, same details as before. And let's go ahead and submit and see what changes this will make. So let's have a look at the result here. So you could see that even after adding positive prompt, it did not make much difference. So we really need to add negative prompt when scenarios are like this. So let's go ahead and change this. So now I have added a negative prompt, which is multiple sports by car, bus, people, and then rest of the stuff is remaining the same. Okay. Let's have a look at the final result here. So you could see that, you know, we are successfully able to remove all the other element from this video, but the motion still doesn't look really nice. Okay. It looks static and then it is moving slowly. So what we could do in this case is just go ahead and change the seed number so that you know you will get a different render of this uh, video so let's have a look at this result now so this is really perfect you could see that you know we have a motion on the both side and even the bike looks really amazing uh, in the motion so let me reiterate once again i took this as a four step example because i really wanted to show you how a simple uh, positive and negative prompt affects your output as well as the seed for our next example we will be using car as a subject and if you see here i have taken car which are placed in different angle and when you try to get the motion on these cars it is not that easy you know you really need to understand the concept of camera movement along with the motion to get the perfect motion for the subject and how we can do that let me show you let's go ahead and animate so we're gonna go and select this car and in my prompt i am going with camera as zoom in rest of the stuff is same uh, i know that you know some elements get may get added so i've just added multiple bikes cars bus people and so on but over here you could see that i have used zoom in and in this case we really need to understand the camera movement because we really want the motion right so our motion and camera movement has to be in the same direction so let me show you the problem as well as the solution for this let's have a look at the result so you could see here since we set the camera as zoom in there is no movement at all in the image because the focus is on zooming in the car is not moving at all right so to fix this what we are going to do we will keep rest of the things same and i'm changing the motion as zero i will just change it to one for now and i'll show you what problem it will create and over here i am setting as camera pan left pan left is because our image is supposed to go this side right that's why i've set the camera as pan left here so let's have a look at the result here so now we have the movement you could see that you know the car looks like it is moving to the left side and we have the perfect camera as well but the problem here is we are deforming the car itself so when this is a problem what you could do is you can go ahead and reduce the motion to zero and then click on submit so let's see if it has resolved our problem or not so you could see now we have the car movement the car is moving there are no problem in the deformities in the car as well so you could see that you know when we had this zoom in there was no motion at all when we kept the camera as pan left there was a motion but at the same time we were deforming the car completely so you have to understand that you have to keep the motion value in control as well as 
the camera movement in the correct direction to get the perfect movement. Let's try to implement the same example uh, for different car but in different angle and let's see if it works or not. So I'm going to choose this one randomly okay and over here I'll just go ahead with uh, prompt and my prompt is single futuristic car moving on the road. You can add anything right and again negative uh, prompt is same and I've kept motion one here. So it's not always that you know you have to keep motion zero. I go with motion one as a default and if there are some problem then only I reduce or uh, increase okay. So I'm going with motion one here and let's see what we get okay. Let's have a look at the result here and you could see that it looks like the car is moving but in reverse direction because we have the camera set up as pan upright okay. So this was the problem. So let's fix this one and we are going to go and update uh, the prompt. So this time I am giving my prompt as down on the road negative is same and camera pan down left okay. So let's have a look at the result here. So you could see that now since we kept as moving down the road and angle as uh, and camera setting as pan down left now the camera is panning this side the road is moving upside and the car moves perfectly fine. So let me show you two more examples how it impacts. So in this the car is set straight and that's why I've set the camera as zoom in okay and you could see that you know I've still set motion as one and let's see. So you could see that you know it is creating a complete motion effect which is going straight down the lane and over here uh, our car is positioned to the left side that's why uh, camera is set as a pan left over here and if you play this uh, you could see that you know the car is moving to the left side and we have the perfect motion. So this is how you can use it and let me show you how it impacts when you use it on any human subject. So let's try to animate or get a motion for any human subject and see how it works. So I'm going with this image uh, which was generated by one of my friend on Twitter and he asked me to animate this and get a motion because he was really struggling to get that. So here I am going with the prompt person wearing long clothes from head to toe walking in the desert because I am just describing the scene and then negative I am giving as standing still no movement because I really want those two elements to get rid of that okay and I am setting motion as one over here and then guidance scale frame per second and then I'm setting as pan left because I want the character to move this direction okay. So let's go ahead and hit enter. So let's have a look at the result here. So you could see that you know we are able to get the perfect moment uh, in the subject of uh, following our uh, concept whatever we have learned till now okay. So I'm gonna go with one more uh, example. So let's animate and I'm going with this image of Lionel Messi. And over here in prompt, I have added few more things. So you could see that, you know, I'm describing the scene. Lionel Messi walking on the pitch, negative, standing still, no movement. And I'm adding extra elements like football, disfigure, extra elements. And over here, I'm going with motion zero. And then camera has zoom out. So let's have a look here. So you could see that, you know, uh, it gives us the correct feeling that, you know, Lionel Messi is walking on the pitch. And uh, this is how you actually write the prompt. I hope this uh, tutorial was really helpful for you guys because I have spent a lot of time you know figuring out uh, these details small details which make a lot of huge difference. That's all for the day guys. If you like this video hit the like and subscribe button share with your friends and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.